just log on to Zillow here, see what they have. A home for $100,000, and my payments would only be $100 a month. That's got to be true. I should just, man, I should just call the owner. Call the owner right now. Stop worrying, home buyer. <laughs> no need to fear. Libby the Realtor's here, and I'm going to help you not make the top 10 home buying mistakes. Hey guys, Super Libby here. My name is Libby Sanders and I'm with Shauna's home team here at Keller Williams. Um, I'm the lead buyer specialist, so I work with only buyers. Um, and I just wanted to go over some of the top 10 things that I've come across of what not to do when buying a home. Um, number one is not understanding the market trends. Um, you've heard the market's good, um, but what does that mean? The market's technically always good, but good for buyers or good for sellers. Is it right for you? Um, but that's why you have a realtor. This is what we do every day. Um, number two, forgetting about the costs involved in buying a home. So the price tag of the home isn't just it. There's so many other extra costs. And I like to work with your lenders and your title company and know all of those extra costs involved with the home buying process to go over with you so you know you're ready to buy a home um, and can afford to buy a home. Number three, not getting a pre-approved home loan. Um, absolutely the first step. You don't want to put the cart before the horse. Um, you have to know exactly what you're comfortable with price-wise price -wise, in order to put in an offer. Um, and it's my job to kind of rein you back in and make sure you're staying within your comfort zone that you've determined with your lender. Um, and it's also, just a side note, it's good to work with lenders that are local. Um, they hold a little bit more... Um, more ground than you know online banks or out-of-state banks when you're dealing with a listing agent. Um, number four, not budgeting properly for that monthly payment and becoming house poor. It's not the goal at all, um, which is why like your realtor can help rein you in and be like, you said you were comfortable with 160. Do you really think that you really want to go up to the 170 area, 165? Let's think about what that looks like monthly. Um, because ten thousand dollars doesn't seem like a lot, but it's gonna maybe put you a little over where you'd like to keep your monthly payments. Um, number five, falling in love with the house. You gotta date the house first. No love until you actually pay for it. Um, you'll look at so many houses online, and you'll be like, "Oh, I love this glass tile backsplash in the in the kitchen," and then you get there and realize that the work was really shoddy, and it's not all what it's cracked up to be. So don't fall in love until. You're getting through the process. You've seen the house, and it's going to be yours. Number six, not considering home resale value. Um, this is likely not going to be your forever home. It may, but um, if you're looking at a five-year home, make sure that you're going to be able to get out what you are getting that house for. Because honestly, right now especially, prices are a little, little higher than what they have been in past years um, because we're in a seller's market. But... Make sure that you can still get out what you put into that. You don't want to. You don't want to get up, be upside down. Number seven is skipping the home inspection. This is an absolute no-no. Even if the home is as is, you want to get that inspection the first thing as soon as you get an accepted offer, so that you can get out of that deal if something if there's a red flag that the inspection reveals. Um, also, use use a good inspector. Do a little homework on this. Um, your realtor, I know I have preferences of who I, I recommend because I know they do good work. Um, so ask around, ask your realtor, make sure you're picking a good inspector. Um, this is one of the most important steps. So don't, don't skimp on that. Number eight, um, Trusting verbal agreements when home buying are, oh, they said this, they said that, especially if you are buying a for sale by owner, use your realtor to discuss with that for sale by owner. Everything has to be in writing. There are no handshakes and, and just verbal agreements anymore. Can't happen. Everything has to be in writing so that you're protected in case something goes sour because in that off chance, you have to cover yourself. Um, number nine, blindly following someone else's advice. And another step further is listening to everybody when you're the one buying your home. 
Yes, listen to your realtor's advice. Yes, listen to your mother's opinion. Um, and whomever else. But in the end, make sure it's right for you. You're the most important one. And number 10, call Shauna's home team. Make sure you're working with good realtors. That's why we're here for you. We work very hard for our clients. We're in the, in the office every morning making phone calls, finding buyers for our sellers, finding homes for our buyers. Um, I know I personally... I work with clients and I find out, oh, they really like this neighborhood. I will call around that neighborhood and find out if anybody's heard of someone that has mentioned making a move. I want to get my clients in there maybe even before the sign hits the yard because this market, you got to be the first one in there. So give us a call. We'd love to help you.